Alright everyone, so today we got kind of an easy but very interesting video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be taking a look at some goofs in Bluey. And for those who don't know, a goof in this case is basically an animation error, such as something being off with one of the characters or an item disappearing when it's not supposed to. And while there are definitely a few in Bluey, I'll admit that with the number of episodes, mistakes aren't actually that common, and it's clear that the animation team are very talented even with the amount of hard work. But just like with anything, Bluey isn't perfect. I mean, it's great and everyone puts a lot of work into it, but once in a while, mistakes still slip through regardless. And to be honest, most of them aren't that crazy, but there are some instances where the results of these errors can be really, really interesting. And in this video, I'll be covering a few goofs I found in the show, as well as some that other viewers have pointed out. However, even with the assistance, it would still be impossible to cover every goof in the show, as they're not always easy to spot. So if there's any I forgot to cover here, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But with all that said, let's go! For our first goof, we don't really have an actual mistake, but more of an inconsistency. In the episode The Weekend, most of the characters look relatively normal, except for Chili. And while she looks fine, I always felt that there was something about her that was just a little bit off. And when checking my suspicions, it turns out that in this particular episode, she actually had a unique design, with the brown part of her fur covering the cream part, as opposed to the opposite layout we see on her in other episodes. And considering that The Weeknd was originally developed for the pilot, I checked to see if they accidentally used her pilot design, but it turns out that she had a completely different design in the pilot anyways. So I guess this just could have been an early version of her final design? Or some weird in-between? But I'm not too sure about that one. Alright, so for our second goof, we have a mistake that's pretty interesting, but kind of creepy. And it comes from the episode Barbecue where for just a couple of frames, Sox's face is just non-existent, with her nose, mouth, and basically nothing else. But you could also argue that since she's supposed to be facing away, her eyes are actually there on the other side of her head, but her nose and mouth are just on the back of her head. I mean, that doesn't make it any less weird, but I'd prefer that over the previous scenario if I were her. So, that's something, I guess. In an entire shot of the episode Horsey Ride, Bandit is missing the black fur that surrounds his eyes, giving him a very strange appearance. I mean, without that coat, he's not really a bandit. He's just a dog, I guess. And the fact that he looks tired and dead inside makes this already hilarious shot even funnier. Like, it's perfect, but for all the wrong reasons, and I love it. For our next goof, we're going to be taking things down a notch, so don't panic too much. Unless you're Bingo, because in the episode Hotel, Bingo apparently loses one of her ears in this frame. But upon viewing it, I'm pretty sure that the ear was just smashed into the bed sheet, hence why it wasn't visible, so I wouldn't consider this one a goof. But, in a later shot, Bluey is also pushing Bingo into the bed, but this time, the dark orange on the back of her head is missing, which I can safely say is a goof. And what's weird is that in the shot before that we just looked at, she had the fur, so I'm not really sure how they forgot it, but mistakes happen, I suppose. Speaking of strange goofs, in the episode Bob Bilby, Uncle Stripe and Aunt Trixie can be seen in the background of a shot. And interestingly, both of them have goofs, with Trixie's spots and lining suddenly changing out of the blue, and Uncle Stripe being colored red, 
for some reason. And in a later shot of the episode, Bingo is missing the dark orange fur on her face. And in one of the album pictures, Bingo's hand and arms are the same color, which admittedly looks pretty weird. Also, I want to say that's Bandit sitting next to her, but either he's really small or Bingo is really big because they're somehow the same size, which is kind of weird considering that Bandit is usually a lot larger than her. In the episode Spy Game, for just a couple of frames, the brown fur on Chili's face starts to glitch out, leading to it covering the direct front of her, and then sitting on the wrong side? Also, this next one isn't a goof, but I also noticed that she's smiling the whole time, even though there's a literal fire, but whatever. Also, in an earlier scene, Mackenzie has more uneven fur than he normally does. In the episode Takeaway, we actually have a couple goofs, but to summarize, the yellow fur on Bandit's belly goes missing, and Bluey's nose gets completely messed up. Also, inside the food place, we see the takeaway lady, who has all white fur except for her gray ears. But when she comes outside, the top of her face is now the same color as her ears. Also, the light blue part of Bandit's belly now disappears. So I suppose everyone was just having a tough day in this episode. Next up, in the episode The Creek, for a couple of frames, the black fur on Mackenzie's head goes a little crazy, causing him to kind of look like Bandit. And then in a later shot, one of the black spots of his fur goes missing, causing him to now resemble Chili. And after that, both of his legs turn white, as opposed to being different colors. So even though he may not be scared of nature, Mackenzie should probably pay more attention to his fur, because it is not having a good time here. In the episode Asparagus, Bingo's hand clips Bandit's leg for a couple of frames, and in the episode Dance Mode, the black fur on Bandit's head splits in two, for just a split second. In the episode Feather Wand, Bingo's mouth faces the wrong way, giving her a very strange look, on top of her already devious expression. And near the end of the episode Rug Island, a tree appears behind Bandit that wasn't present in a previous shot. And speaking of Bandit, in the episode Swim School, he completely disappears before he actually falls into the water. Also, at the end of the episode, he pees in the water, right next to his family. That's not a mistake, or at least an animation mistake, but like, come on dude, seriously? Alright, so I wasn't originally going to include this, but while editing the video, I got a comment about the episode Cafe, and in the episode's credits, the credits for Mom and Dad are switched around, which admittedly looks pretty strange. But what's even stranger is that, when I checked the Australian version of the episode, the credits were correct, so I checked Disney+, Plus, and only then did I finally see the goof. How they not only mixed up the credits, but did so in only one version of the episode is beyond me. But I thought it was really interesting to point out. But to wrap things up, for our last goof, in the episode Muffin Cone, Muffin's tail just clips right through the stairs. Yeah, kind of anticlimactic after everything we've seen, but it's something I guess. And that's basically every goof I'm aware of in the show, but as a little bonus, I've also found some on Bluey merch, so let's take a quick look at those. To start off, if you look very closely on the box of the Shadowlands board game, Chili's brown fur is on the wrong side of her head. And it is a small detail, but it really makes me think about how they could have gotten this wrong. I mean... They must have used a reference or a picture of her when drawing this, right? But regardless, I guess it's an easy mistake to make. And while on the subject of fur patches, for the prototypes of some early Bluey merch, Bandit's patch of black fur only covers his right eye, 
as opposed to covering both. And interestingly, this design looks remarkably similar to his pilot design, so I have a feeling that these things were made before his final design, but changed shortly after. Also, I just realized that Bandit only gets his name from the fact that he has the black fur covering both of his eyes. So when he only had black fur covering one eye, was he still called Bandit? Or did he have a different name? Hmm. So this next one isn't as interesting, but on the back of the box for the Bluey Table and Chair set, which yes, is in fact a real thing, Bandit is missing an entire chunk of his nose. Which is strange because I just assumed that they used the same image as all the other merch, but I guess not. Also, for those who are wondering about the box, I actually cut this picture off the actual box before I threw it away. Why I did that, I have absolutely no idea, but I'm glad I did, because this is the only evidence of this goof's existence I'm aware of. But moving on, I'm not sure if anyone noticed this, but the Princess Bluey plush doesn't have spots on her back. Kind of weird, but I assume it's because they would have been hidden by the cape anyways, and therefore not worth making. And outside of design errors, I've also found a couple of factory errors as well, such as this Cousins pack advertising Bluey, even though she's clearly not in the pack, and this Queen set with a normal bingo, as opposed to the smug one they're supposed to have. And with that, those are basically all of the Bluey goofs I'm aware of, whether in the actual show or even related to merchandise. And while it's always nice when things go perfectly, I honestly enjoy these goofs quite a bit. Not only are they pretty funny to look at, but they also provide an interesting look into how the show is actually made, as well as what could happen when things go wrong. And you know what? If the episode Perfect has taught us anything, is that you don't have to be perfect to be appreciated. And if Bluey isn't a perfect example of this, I don't know what is. But with all that said, thanks for watching. I know this video isn't as long or as deep as some of my other ones, but to be honest, I've been kind of wanting to produce something a little more lighthearted and not as serious as some of my other videos. And I thought that sharing all of these goofs in a single video would be a fun way to do that. But for those who do want more lighthearted or even more serious content from me, I do have a few projects in the works, as well as some ideas for smaller videos as well. But until then, BMB Productions will be signing out. Have a wonderful day everyone, and I'll see you real soon.